Hello, in this video we're going to look at the efficient allocation of resources between firms. So this would uh, fall under general equilibrium analysis. Uh, we're going to start uh, with a, an economy with two firms. There are two firms that produce peanuts with the following production functions. So firm one, that's what subscript one is representing. Its output uh, is going to be a function of units of labor. And firm two, likewise, uh, its output will be a function of uh, units of labor. We're going to assume that there is a total supply of labor equal to 100 units. And what we want to do is find the efficient allocation of labor between these two firms, uh, the, the allocation that will maximize total output. Efficiency will require this condition. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have the marginal product of labor for firm one, and that will equal the marginal product of labor for firm two. So these are just taking the derivative of firm one's production function and setting that equal to the derivative of firm two's production function. So here's the derivative of firm one's production function. So just going back to the other slide here, uh, I'm bringing down the one-half in front, so the two and the one-half cancel leaving L raised to the minus one-half power. The derivative of the second production function uh, will simplify to the following. Again, reminding us that the efficient allocation of labor between these two firms will be given where the marginal product of labor of firm one equals the marginal product of labor of firm two. Making our substitutions then. Okay, so just moving these down over here. And then recognizing, given that there's only 100 units of labor, we can do a substitution here. Uh, let's solve for units of labor to firm 1. That's just 100 minus units of labor to firm 2. And I'll put this 100 minus L subscript 2 in over here on the left-hand side. So making that substitution, we got one equation and one unknown. rewriting that condition, and then let's just raise both sides to the minus second power. That will simplify to this. Uh, two raised to the minus second power is just one-fourth, or 0 0.25. And now solving for L subscript 2. Okay, adding L subscript 2 to both sides, we get this and dividing by 1.25. Firm 2 will use 80 units of labor, leaving Firm 1 with 20 units of labor, 100 minus 80. And again, units of labor have to, have to sum to 100, and so that's what we've got here. All right, uh, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.